Guys, it's Spy Cat, and I'm off work, and I'm in uh, Goodwill, looking for some stuff to hoard up on. I don't know if they redid the sections or not, but I'm seeing some kind of new items in this store, and uh, we're going to see what they have, I guess. So I'm already in the first aisle, guys. As you could see, I thought this was okay, but it's it's not. It's just some stuff that nobody ever watches. Um, I'm seeing, like... Let's see, what the heck is this? What the heck is this, guys? This is like a uh, some Chinese gang movie or something. Whole bunch of shows that I would never watch. Um, here's a Disney movie. I don't know what that is. Ghosts of Abyss. I don't want to get that. Um, let's see, guys, if we could find anything. Same old stuff. Dude, they got Curb Your Enthusiasm right here first season they got a lot of friends um, I found this which is one of the only family feature collection that I don't have in my collection but I looked at it and it was kind of scratched so I don't know if I'm gonna get that I did see the Star Wars Rebels which is uh, in the package that's kind of cool I might get that um, well, let's just see what we could find guys Casablanca, really good condition. I never saw that cover before. Singles, Damages, the TV show with Glenn Close. They got MASH season one. Look at this, guys. Ham, Hammy the Hamster. I don't know what the heck that is. Here's a uh, Time Bandits, which is out of print. They have a lot of Batman animated uh, snapbacks, except... They're all messed up. They're all in bad condition. Or else I definitely would have been down. Look at this. They got this Power Rangers uh, Mystic Force. Another Batman. I really would have got this, but the condition is really messed up. This is a good one, except the condition is messed up. All right, guys. Look at this. I found Doug Season 1. Now, this is kind of a hard one to find at Goodwill. I haven't even seen this in Amoeba Rasputin, so I'm definitely going to get this one for sure. This is a kind of a find right there. Kind of the same old stuff going on. I don't see that many things new except that Doug. Um, not seeing much. Same old stuff, guys. But it uh, looks like they have... Um, they have season two of the uh, Cartoon Network series. That, that might be kind of cool. They also have this Indiana Jones, which is kind of hard to find at Goodwill. So this is cool. It has all the Indiana Jones movies. They also have this, which I was looking at too, this Haunted his History collection of like ghost stories and stuff, which is kind of cool. Look at that. Salem Witch Trials vampire stuff this might might be pretty cool to get I haven't seen this I saw this this I think might be out of print I'm not sure but it looks like it w might be out of print I don't know I'm gonna have to look it up on my phone to see but um yeah it's kind of the same stuff guys I'm not seeing much and um let's see guys just a whole bunch of, I guess nobody likes Arrested Development. Guess everybody doesn't like that one. That's cool, they got the Unbreakable. Um, I always look at the VHS to see if they got new ones. I'm not seeing many new ones going on here. Just the same old stuff going on. Yeah, so it doesn't look like they got anything new. I was looking at this. This is like uh, Super Friends Volume 2. I don't know what that is, but it's kind of cool. Um, but it looks like I'm just gonna get this stuff, guys, right here. The Doug and the Hot Dog might be out of print. Um, and the last thing I, I saw, guys, is this Royal Criterion Collection, which is out of print, but that's it for this one, guys. See you guys next time. So they, they, they didn't have much in Goodwill. I'm going to another Goodwill on mission, and um, 
I think I bumped into a porn place, a building where they film a bunch of porn at, which I don't support that. I've had my I've had my time of porn and I'm against it because it's basically human trafficking is what it is, but this is it guys. This is the uh I think it is. I think this is the uh yeah, because look, kink. So I think this is the, the porn place where they make pornos at. So it's, you know, it, it's horrible. It's basically, it's it's a human trafficking is what it is. Oh, good one. It is. It's human trafficking. Oh, it's human trafficking. Hey, guys. Smiley Cat. And, uh... This is Random Pickups, episode 59. I went out to Goodwill, got a couple bangs. Well, after work, I went to three Goodwills, but I think the first one, I bought one thing. They didn't have much. Then I went to another one where I got, like, a bunch of cool stuff. I found some, I found an out-of-print movie and um, a couple out-of-print VHS tapes that are worth way more money than I paid for them. Um, and then I w was going to go to another Goodwill, and then I ran into Kink, guys. Kink.com. The porn place. Oh, man. That's a whole other story, guys, but I don't support that crap. That's just degrading and wrong. Oh, man. Those guys are crazy. Spike had to go out there and rebuke them all. But anyway, guys, this is Random Pickups, and uh, let's see what I got. On the last episode... I got Truly Madly Deeply, which was a score. It was over $120 selling on eBay. I got it for $250 or I think maybe $199 at the other Goodwill. And that's on the uh, previous random pickups for this one. And I know I've been putting a lot of videos where I'm editing. I'm learning how to edit. So I'm putting like my random pickup episodes and my um, out and about episodes together now from now on. So, um, that'll be kind of better. That way it's not a lot of videos on my channel and I can put them together and shit. Um, but here we go, guys. Let's see what I got. So, guys, we'll start with the VHS tapes. Um, I got Super Sunday, and it's in the package. This is, uh, from the Super Bowl. A history of the Super Bowl. I think it's from, like, it's 19, like, 91 this tape was made. So this is an old one. This one sells for about 10 bucks on eBay in the package. So 25 cents worth about 10 bucks. Great value there. Um, I got Super Fire. This is just a movie I never heard of. There's not many movies about like fires going crazy and stuff. So it's kind of a cool adventure movie, I guess you could say. And I don't know if it's on DVD. It's from uh, Lion Gates. Uh, so it could be out of print. I don't know. But this looks like a cool adventure action fire movie i like those movies there's not many of them there's like uh the howie lang one i forgot what movie that is firestorm and there's uh dante's peak the volcano movies i consider those like the fire movies um i got old yeller just to have this in the collection i love the cover old yeller is one of my favorite movies so you guys know i have to get all the covers for this movie 25 cents um, let's see. And now for the good stuff. So guys, I picked up, the DVDs that I picked up, guys, was, um, Free Willy 2. And I already have this movie, but my copy is really beat up. Because it's like the snapback one. So, uh, this is just in really good condition. And I haven't found this in good condition, so I needed that, uh, in good condition. Let's see, you guys. I got Undercover Brother, pretty good movie with uh, Eddie Griffin in it. I like this one. I remember this one. This one I don't see that that uh, that much in Amoeba and Rasputin, so I had to get that one. That's that'll be a funny one. Eddie Griffin, I collect his movies too. And I got a uh, another family feature, twentieth twentieth uh, century Fox family feature which I'm collecting all of these, you guys know that. I thought I had most of them all, but I don't have this one. So this one, and the only ones I don't have in this whole collection are all like the Shirley Temple ones. I don't really want that in my collection. Um, 
And surprisingly, and all the DVDs are one ninety nine at Goodwill. They do no tax, which is pretty cool. And um, yeah, so here we go, guys. Here's some good stuff. Goodwill hunting in the package. I already have Goodwill hunting, but um, this is like another edition, I guess. I have like the older one DVD, so this has some different special features on there and stuff. So it's pretty cool. Only for two bucks, Goodwill hunting in the package at Goodwill. And um, the other thing I forgot to show is another uh, VHS one, Goosebumps the Haunted Mask. This cover is really cool. It's in a clamshell case. Just really cool stuff there. Wow. Pretty cool. That cover is cool. And someone told me, um, I went to a uh, market and someone was like, man, all these are on Netflix and stuff. Because, man, I go and hold in hella movies and stuff to get a soda and crap. Um, yeah. And now, five items that were super scores. Besides that Super Bowl one, I got five scores and two dollar DVDs. So let's see the value, guys. I got Star Wars Rebels right here in the package, never been opened. Um, I never really watched this, but it's in the package, brand new. It's got the slip cover, and it's worth about, sells for about ten bucks on eBay. And I found freaking Doug. Season 1, I think. Yeah, Season 1, which is a three-disc set. It's part of the Nickelodeon Rewind thing that was going on. Um, pretty cool to find this at Goodwill, and it was in great condition, and it goes for about 10 bucks on eBay. So that's like an $8 value. Um, another thing that's worth 10 bucks that I found at Goodwill was a Schindler's List in the package in mint condition. It's even got the MGA stamps on the side there. So this is pretty cool. And the score of the day, guys. This was the score of the day for sure. I knew this was out of print because I remember seeing it on uh, eBay. And it's Hot Dog the Movie. It's from 1984. And it sells on eBay for 35 bucks. Now that's... I don't know where that other one went. Um, like on the last episode, that one that was worth 120 bucks. It didn't beat that, but this right here is still an out of print DVD and it sells for 35 bucks to 40 bucks on eBay. So that was a score of a score for $2, 35 bucks on eBay, 40 bucks. Wow, that's a score. And um, anyway, guys, I forgot to open this up, so I'm going to open this up with you guys and um, yeah, and girls, I guess. And it's uh, the Clint Eastwood one. I, I This is the one I think I got in Berkeley on one of the Out and Abouts. It was twelve ninety nine. I have every Clint Eastwood movie except the last two new ones. And um, the only ones I sold in my collection of Clint Eastwood was the Spaghetti Westerns. I wasn't really a fan of it. But since I have 95% of all his collection, I just figured, you know, just get the last couple three that I need to complete the collection. So let's open this up. Let's see. Let's dang. And they really tape the crap out of this thing. It's okay. Alright guys, so it's in this cool little case right there. We'll take the price tag off. So this is it, guys. It came with three movies, which are all these spaghetti westerns that he did. Pretty cool set. Let's see. And I had all these, but, I, but like, I just couldn't watch them. They weren't, I couldn't watch them. Except The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. I was kind of dumb for selling that one. But I got The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly in there. I don't know if it's, and they look pretty brand new. They all have the little booklet that came inside. Um, for a few dollars more, yeah, these are brand new. I mean, I can feel it. They're like, wow, nobody even watched these. Oh, man. See, I didn't have this one. I had the other one. But, uh, this one's pretty cool. It's got a booklet. Pretty cool. Twelve ninety nine, A fistful of dollars. So these are all, like, I think, I don't know if they were all movies that went together, but they were all, like, the first spaghetti westerns that he did. 
But yeah, let's see, guys. Mm, yeah. Oh yeah, the Man With No Name trilogy. It is the trilogy, I guess. So that was uh, it, guys. And I'll show you the Clint Eastwood collection that I have most of his movies. Pretty much like 95%. I didn't get the last couple new ones he did. Alright guys, as you can see, the room is the same, or I changed it a lot, actually. This is all the same, but I moved this thing in here because I'm going to get another tower for the big movie room, and um, yeah, these are like my favorite actors in here. So the top shelf is all, all Clint Eastwood's movies, and I even bought this for a second time just because this is an out-of-print one, I got it at Goodwill. I already have it right here. But, um, yeah, these are all Clint Eastwood. I have a couple more somewhere else. Uh, John Wayne. All there. And then, um, let's see. Who's this? Burt Lancaster. He's definitely my favorite actor. Um, and then a little bit of Kathleen Hepburn and James Dean movies. Oh, see, there's more. And then uh, Charles Bronson. Just uh, westerns. Um, and then on the bottoms, uh, my favorite comedian old school actors, Jack Lemmon and Walter Matthau. All down here, guys. And then there's a couple random movies down there for some reason. Oh, this is where my, um, I forgot what it is. Dennis Hopper, I was going to do an actor thing on him. But yeah, I mean, the room's kind of the same, guys. It's just... And then here's like some snapbacks and stuff. And then I'm going to do a Disney thing um, where I'll show all my old school Disney tapes. Like these ones, which are really, really cool, guys. These things right here are, um, I can't remember. They're like from the 80s. And I got them from the movie store that was closing down, which is, I mean, these things are heavy as heck, man. Um, but yeah. Ooh. So anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the episode, and um, I don't support porn, even though I used to watch it, but the past, the past, guys. Anyway, guys, I've definitely found some scores. Hot Dog the Movie, I knew was out of print. Um, I don't even know how I knew that. I'm getting better at hunting it and stuff, especially from that Alec Rickman one that was 100 bucks. and uh, this was just, man... Rich people donate in San Francisco, I guess, to the Goodwills. But you have to be at the Goodwills when they, um, like, right when they put them on the shelves. Because people jack them. People bring backpacks, all the tweakers and stuff. They bring backpacks. And they uh, just get movies and fill them up and shit, the backpacks. But, uh, yeah, that's no good. But, yeah, in Doug, which is really cool because you don't see this one too often. Which is pretty cool. Yeah. Ah, that was pretty freaking corny, guys.